the mystery with light halos around gods, saints, and even extraterrestrial aliens. We're used to seeing halos in iconography in all Christian Orthodox churches. They're also found in statues of Catholic churches. However, this halo around the heads of saints is not a privilege of Christian art, but again, it's lost in the depths of many centuries, many millennia long before the appearance of monotheistic traditional religion. So what was this? Certainly we do not need to say much about the halo of saints, as we find it everywhere in our churches, but how many of you know that Buddha, Krishna, Goddess Kali, and many others wear a halo as well? Almost unknown is the fact that we find it in ancient Greek gods as well, such as Apollo, Poseidon, and many others. But how about if we showed you that aliens had, maybe still have, halos? And before we realize and analyze the topic, let's briefly look at the who they were. One Gina, figures of Australia, Valka, Monica, Italy, the god Neptune, Amphitrite and Poseidon, god Apollo, and uh, the early Christian saints, of course, the, the Christian saints, Buddha, also Krishna, and in many parts of the world in caves, on rocks and boulders, on megaliths, unknown humanoid forms that refer to aliens that have been found, these forms are the subject of study in the theory of ancient astronauts. Their age in many cases exceeds 10,000 years, while in some others they reach beyond 30,000 years. Some argue that these figures are bogus and figments of imagination, of low intelligent primates, primitives, but how did the primitives have the ability to paint and depict with extreme precision animals of the environment, but in the case of strange figures, and painting halos around them? Mystery, but that's not our thing. Many of the strange or otherworldly figures have halos around their heads. How did the primitives know about the halos? Is there an explanation? The theory of the ancient astronauts explains about the halo that it is a helmet or a cask of some kind, like the modern astronauts wear, but this does not suit all cases. If we must give any safe explanation, then perhaps we should turn our attention to the human aura. Even living organisms emit a light which is invisible to our eyes. To some people it is visible, if God allows you to see a person with a halo. Now, uh, a real living person. Now, depending on the... I'm saying that because we have. Now, depending on the color of the aura or its changes, or even its density, one can calculate as long as one sees it, if one is good, pure, sick, bad, etc. The more the color simmer, shimmers or gilds, and especially on the head, the more a being who carries it depends towards, tends towards the higher, towards the divine. But the aura is not visible. We can see it. How did the prehistoric people perceive it, though? Perhaps they had the ability, among many others, to see the aura. Possibly, however, they knew the technique so that they could see it, as we can see it with proper practice. If indeed these strange figures of thousands of years in the rocks and caves around the world are extraterrestrials, then we can assume that since they carried a halo, they were probably pure and superior beings, non-attached, full of inner joy, high spiritual development. Somehow we arrive at a dangerous question. Do the saints and gods of most religions identify with or have some close kinship with extraterrestrials? Indications, if not proof, that extraterrestrial intelligent beings came to Earth from distant planets exist in all traditions and in hundreds of statuettes. Perhaps the most characteristic of all is the exhibit in an archaeological museum that also shows an ancient spaceship itself. As we've shown, there are many com communalities between ancient religions, distant geographical and not, that reach our eight days. The fact that their ideals were violated, altered and shaped by foreign bodies in the interest of foreign beliefs does not change the essence. The halo is essentially the enclosure of higher spiritual intelligent beings, whether they descended from heaven or not, who in their effort to establish a better world deify themselves. From then on, this halo, the golden halo around the head, became a characteristic trademark of saints and gods around the world, whether they deserve it or not. 
In many religions, it became the subconscious way of ruling and entrapping the human mind. So um, this is, a, again, translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.